Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are doing Technical Minecraft Episode 3. And, um, I've got two cows, which is great. And I've also set up a nether tunnel, and also I've synced up portals, and they are above the nether, which is cool. <laughs> so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to transport these cows through the nether to my base. So, I think I can just push him in and then break the minecart. So, there we go. And then... Iron Axe. Oh, I'm also, also, I am playing on the new sh um, snapshot, 15w42a. And I can't use Faithful because of the new GUI changes, and then Faithful just messes it up, and you can't see the new things in the GUI. But there we go. He's in, and let's, I'm hoping my minecart thing worked. He should be in the minecart. Oh, no, 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 cow. Get in the minecart, get in the minecart. There we go. Oh, it took damage. Anyways, we are going down to, um, going down <laughs> all the way to my base. Um, it took about 10 minutes to set up these portals or longer, not sure. But anyway, let's just place on a rail and then you just do this and then place a minecart. That's a bow. Then it just grabs them, and then you can just push, push him onto the rail, and then just get him up. If I can do that, there we go. And then I can basically leave this area for one. But I think, I think I'm gonna keep it um, as like my dark oak thing. So I'm gonna keep these portals here, obviously. So let me just move the cow into this portal. Oh, hold on. I don't have a minecart on the other side. I'll just take this one. Okay, the cow and the minecart has gone through. Seems like. So this shouldn't be too hard. Um, if I can just get the minecart, place it down. There we go. Okay. I've got both cows. It's going to take damage on the corner there. Oh, that cow got quite far. Wish I can do this faster. So I'll get back to you when I get to the end of the tunnel. It's not that far, though. Okay, I've got the cows here, and we have got a friend that has come from the other dimension. Oh, <laughs> he's going up, staying there. Anyway, so here they are. I'm just going to leave them here for now. Um, let's just go up. It's always night when I come out of the portal. It's weird. So I'm just going to go up here. Um, I think this episode we are going to do some building. Um, I don't think any redstone. Um... And of course, as I mentioned in the first episode, we are going to build our base around the corner. Um, I wish I could get there faster. Yeah. So we are going to build our base in this bowl. Now it's not going to be like on the, uh, water. It's going to be inside the actual mountain. And I'm thinking of having a grand entrance. So I think that'll be very cool. And, um, the base is going to be a vertical base. Um, so we'll have levels going down and up, and I'm going to use, like, slime block elevators probably. Well, the frames drop when I look in this direction. Oh, it's all the sheep. Yeah, there's, I think, a hundred sheep um, in this place. <laughs> Anyways, um, when we build the sheep farm, though, I'm going to have them underground. Um, so it doesn't cause that much lag. So yeah, I'm here to get some wheat, and then we can quickly breed the cows. Um, this is obviously going to grow soon, sooner or later. Okay, so let's take this wheat, drop the seeds. Okay, so I got a bit laggy at the sheep thing. Um, so yeah, I think once we build the sheep farm, it will be... Fine, and also, I think I want to build it far away, because, um, I don't want all the sheep to lag out, like the main base. I'll just have it like a nether tunnel and stuff. So there we go. And there we go, repopulation, that's great. And I think I'll just build up cows in here until we build a cow farm in the future. And there'll be... Um, our leather 
and food resource. So we can do some enchanting soon with bookshelves. Anyways, so um, while I figure out what we're going to do next, <laughs> I'm going to figure out what we're going to do next and I'll get back to you. Alright, so our next task is going to be a mini storage area and it will allow me to make building the base a lot easier so um, everything's organized. So I've got 64 chests, um, 32 trapped and 32 normal. And we're going to put them right here in a diagonal direction, so I think they'll look cool. Let's just um, see how that looks with the first row, I think. One, two, three, four. And then one, two... Oh, things in the way. One, two, three, four. There we go. So now we have eight in our direction, so let's just stand here. Okay, that looks quite good. We are also going to obviously uh, decorate it, so now what we're going to do is stack them up like so, um, and then we'll just do one more layer. Okay, that was an accident. <laughs> um, so, trap chests, normal chests, trap chests, normal chests, and then we can just do the last layer like so okay and then the trap chests so we're gonna stand back right now and take a look at this okay okay cool that looks that looks awesome <laughs> and <laughs> it will look a lot better with the um, decoration obviously so with the entrance here I'm thinking it would be about <laughs> this big <laughs> and um it will be I want it to be like super big and grand and probably use whites, blues and greys because I want to go with like a, a futuristic base. I've got the main base idea um uh, with the help of um someone. So that's gonna happen. We might actually work on it this episode. But for now, what we're going to do is work on the decoration. So I'll get back to you once I get the materials for the decoration. Okay, so I've been doing some resource gathering. And I've got just enough resources for what we're going to build here. And I've also dug out an area. So we can just start doing this. So first of all, what I'm going to have under the chests are dark oak planks. Um, and that's because they look nice with the other materials we got. And then we're just going to extend out the dark oak planks by one, like so. Okay. Then what we're going to do is come around the back here and just start placing blue wool, not like that, just behind the chests. So I'm just going to do that. Okay. And then what we're going to have... On the edges is a quartz frame going five up. And then also same thing on the other side. Um, I'll do that a bit later. And then what we're going to have is... Um, let me just look at our screenshot here. Okay, then we're going to have this coming across our chests. So if we can just place all of these, okay, missed that one, it's fine. Okay, oh, I can't place that one there, so like so. Then as the back uh, place, I guess, don't know what to call it, we're just going to have lower, lower slabs, so if I just um, place cobblestone, no, not there, there, and then, yeah, I can place my slab like so. So I'm going to put cobblestone all at the back here, and then I'm going to place quartz. Okay, that's fine, actually, I've got enough. So if you look at that so far, um, it, yeah, <laughs> it looks quite nice so far. Can't really see it because you don't. We don't have all the blue um, at the back yet, but I will place in all the blue, and I'll just 
finish this up quick, so I'm just going to place the other pillar and I'll get back to you once it's completed. Here is the storage area. Looks quite nice, right? And also, looks like... Actually, I won't point that out because it might annoy people. Anyways, here it is. Looks quite nice. It's all lit up at night. Turn night um, right now, so that was perfect timing. And now all I really need to do is just, like, bring the mountain down onto it and then um, just bring the land up. So that'll look quite cool. And I can actually start sorting my items in. I'll Let's just quickly get to my base. I will use the power of video editing, editing and we'll just get there. <laughs> okay. We are here. So this is what I have to sort. I mean, this is all perfect. This is fine. But it's this. Okay. Plus all my inventory, yeah? Okay. And also, if we go down the stairs, there's more junk. I guess you would call, call it. It wouldn't be junk if it's sorted because it'll look nice together and you'll take it out and stuff. But, yeah. Uh, I think I've got four cows now. Um, yeah, that's about it. So, got all that, and also all this. So, I've got quite a big job to do, and also need to find a way of determining which chests are designated for each item. I can't use item frames because, um, I don't have leather yet, I've only got four cows. So, what I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to go to the, um, skeleton farm. And I'll just do a bit of AFK there, and I'll get a whole bunch of bones, um, turn it into bone meal, and then I'll grow some wheat and breed a whole bunch of cows. So I'll be back um, once that's done. I have built something new for the cows, and as you can see, I've got a whole bunch of wheat, so let's get straight into what I want to show you. Here it is. It's the cow silo. <laughs> Don't know what to call it, but I mean, it's got a glass and... Um, cobblestone there, slabs. So basically this is what you do, you come down and then you just walk around here, you go up these stairs and then you breed them. I've just um, bred them now. So I have to wait, I think, what, 20? No, 5 minutes. It's 20 minutes for the babies to grow up and then you can breed them every 5 minutes. So I'm just going to continue doing this. As you can see, from 4 we've gone up to 9. <laughs> I thought it would be a lot. thought it would be much more. Nine or eight? I think it's eight. Well, we've doubled in population. Um, I think I did that in about ten minutes. That sounds about right. So I'll get back to you once there's uh, fifty to a hundred. I'll get back to you when there's fifty to a hundred, and then um, we can start doing the chest stuff with um, their leather. All right. I finally got. Um, 50 cows in here. So, yeah, that took quite a while, but I was doing other things. So, it wasn't that bad. I got um, about 64, uh, one and a half stacks of wheat, and then I just breed them every five minutes, of course, because you only can breed cows or breed any animal every five minutes. As I think I said that in the last clip, actually, it's been quite a while. So, um,. Now that we've done that, I'm thinking of actually doing some work at the top. I'll show you what I want to do. Um, it's nothing to do with the base yet. I'm still working on a design for that, but I've got the materials that I want to use. But I think I want to just start doing um, paths. So link paths um, around. And maybe we can start on like a water type path going um, around this mountain to the entrance there because that is probably definitely going to be the entrance um, right next to our storage oh look at that you can't see the chest so you can see what's behind them that's actually <laughs> another thing about it looking at that I could have actually built that without the chests and then place all the chests in but I mean it's too late now so um, I'm going to gather a few materials and we can probably start working on these paths. 
And also, I think I want to um, create a boat launcher. I'm sorry, the frames went down there. I was looking in the wrong direction. Um, yeah, a boat launcher, because I've noticed I've been using boats a lot in this area. So as you can see, there's, like, water everywhere. So we're either going to build paths or make a boat launcher. I guess we'll see in the next clip. All right, we aren't doing anything I said in the last clip. We are actually here at the um, jungle, no, not jungle, dark oak forest. And what we're going to build is a cow breeder that I designed. And um, you've actually, I've actually uploaded it. Um, it's called Minecraft Cow Slash Sheep. Um, breeder and cooker, and I'm gonna use it for the cows. I've actually bred up a hundred now, so that will be epic. And the reason I'm building it here is because I don't want um, all the lag at the base with a hundred cows and a hundred sheep and everything. So let's um, quickly start this. So I'm just gonna um, start. I think maybe not here. Let me move back a bit. I have set up everything. Everything is in place and I am just hoping it will work. So here's my plan. As you can see I've got fences here um, and this should help um, with them filtering like through this one block gap because as you can see the gap is big and they can come in from the sides. So this is what's going to happen. I'm going to um, try to get all of them through this portal as much as I can and then I'm going to run up here. And I'm going to try not fall in there. If I fall in there, then it will just be a big fat fail. But if I jump across perfectly, then they should all start pushing each other into this hole. So I'm hoping that works. And then this is my way out currently. You need to do a bit of parkour. And um, yeah, so I'm just going to um, skip until I get to the end of the other side of the tunnel and I'll show you what's there. Well... I just realized I haven't done the other side and my pickaxe just broke. So that's quite... Oh, jeez, that could have killed me. Just imagine that was like in the wall. Anyways, there we go. Very easy to set up. Then you just put your fences down on the sides. Okay, that's it's fine if that happened. <laughs> there we go. And then you have your filter thing and they should be on their way. Oh look, parkour again. Anyways, so now that that's done, I'm going to show you what's through the portal as well. And this is going to be cool. I'm going to... Oh, well, lag. <laughs> There's a hundred cows. Yep, frames drop down to um, 14. Anyways, so there's a hundred cows, and now what I can do is break this. And then break the glass... And I'm hoping that this goes to plan. And I'm also hoping I haven't overlooked something. Okay, here we go. This is it. Whoa. <laughs> yes, go into the portal. <laughs> Look at them. They're just streaming through. <laughs> it's like a train. Yes, carry on. I wonder what's on the other side. It's going to be interesting to see. Go, wait, that was, yeah, I'm just going to try to do this. Oh, no, don't go in. Okay, there's considerably less now, so they aren't pushing each other in as much, but they still are, so that's good. Okay, now I need to do this and try to push them gently in. Will that work? I think it's working. Yeah, this is good. 
And there's two left. Okay, um, I'll come retrieve them later. Now let's see what's on the other side. This is going to be... Oh! Get out of the portal! Oh my word, sorry about that lag. <laughs> and the screen right now is... Uh, get out the portal. Oh my word, how many cows are here? Not as much as I'd like. Oh my word, I think this is working. Like, quite well, actually. Let me just look up and s Okay. Just gonna carry on walking and, and I'll meet you at the portal and then, um, at the end of this video, we will see how many cows we actually got across, um, first try. Can you guess how many cows are in there? And take a closer look. How many do you think? Well, let me just tell you, there's, there's 13, yeah. 13 on the first trip. And it didn't even go that well. <laughs> and it took forever to get them in there. If you guys have any suggestions on how I can push them faster, uh, just take note that I have got a rail on the ground. I'm not going to make a whole bunch of minecarts though. But if there's a way to push all of them at once from behind, that will be uh, great to know. But anyway, I'm going to end the episode here. It's been quite a good one. I've had a lot of fun, must say. So um, if you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you all in the next one.